the normal thing is it comes with a really teeny tiny like toolbox which is pathetic uh, but then the upgrade that everybody does is a four inch tube that's like 16 inches long or something like that well I saw that and I thought you know what there's a lot of dead space under here not used so I basically took a 12 inch piece of sewer pipe 24 inches long by 12 um, cooked it uh, got it nice and soft about 230 degrees or so and then took a two by four on top of a you know like floor or marble counter or whatever something like that squish it down so it's oval cut off your excess down to about 16 inches and then um, that extra bit you have you then make another cut reheat it flatten it all out boom that leftover is what gets your door and your your base and then just use some PVC glue on the back and boom and it holds a tremendous amount yeah so. you've got some impressive uh tools in there let's see what you got going on yeah that so. was really neat the leatherman i mean if you look from under here on the to your right go mm -hmm. around you can see how long it all is oh yeah see it goes all the way back in there so i got my heavy duty tube in there zip ties leatherman cool wrench set air pump and this wrench set is really neat it's really thin it's got thin oh, light yeah, stuff see that, didn't you? yeah it's just stuff that uh doesn't take up a lot of space it's very light so. and that saved my butt today because i didn't have a wrench for my axle nut uh, it's just Amazon, but it's uh, the thing about these wrenches that I wanted at the bottom is that they're super thin. So you can't put a ton of torque on them, but it'd be enough to hopefully to get them loose. Oh, yeah. Well, and they've got mine tight. And they're lightweight enough to where uh, they don't like weigh it way down. So that's what I like about it. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing, man. That's a really nice uh, customization right oh, there. The other thing that any uh, dirt person is going to want is also another Australian guy here. The uh, trail jack. Oh, nice. So this thing, like, it basically pulls out and you can double length it. It's got a pin on there. It's got foot pads. Uh -huh. But basically, when you need to get a front or rear wheel up, check out this guy. It's, uh, oh, what's his name? Can't find him. What's the guy? I don't know what his name is, but huh, just search cool. up search up Trail Jack. Uh, Rolling Mavericks, I think is what it's called. Okay. Yeah, Trail Jack. Anyway. And that's a really sweet DR you got, too, by the way. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Yeah, we've got to see it in action today. We got to see what shines and what doesn't. Actually, we all shine. What am I saying? We all shine today. But we all know that the KLRs are the heroes of this trip. <laughs>